What's up guys, this is Nico from Limitless and today I'm bringing you another, no, not, not another new deck, but a deck that becomes very good with the new set, but it's an old concept, which is Ultra Necrozma Malama. And let's get right into the list. Yeah, of course, we since we're playing Ultra Necrozma or Ultra Malama, we have three Ultra Necrozma, Photon Geysir, 20 plus 80 damage for every psychic energy you discard from it and the jax attack does um yeah 60 damage or more likely six damage counters to each pokemon if the total of both players remaining prizes is six or less um it's especially good against decks like lost march for example where you can just wipe the complete board in one turn then yeah second of course in a malama deck we have four for malama by now everyone should probably know this card, Psychic Recharge, once during your turn you may attach a Psychic Energy from your discard fight to one of your bench Pokemon. Pretty simple. Then we have one Ditto, which is basically, or not, not basically, which is the fifth ink. There's absolutely no other reason why the Ditto is in here, no other way to use it. It's just in here to be able to evolve into Malama, um, yeah, so that we can just get as many ink uh, on our first turn as possible. Then from the the first new card is G two Jirachi because it just increases the consistency of the deck by a lot. So yeah, just makes sense to play it. Then we have a different attacker, which is one Dawnwings Necrozma, which is just nice to have for the invasion ability to switch into it. For example, against fighting uh, like fighting Pokemon that are weak to Psychic or other Psychic Pokemon that are weak to Psychic. And then also GX attack is pretty nice if you're behind in prices because it does 180 and your opponent can't damage this Pokemon. Or like, yeah, if this Pokemon stays active, basically it can't be damaged because if your opponent switches, for example, Escape Rope and then Guzma, then the Dominix is uh, still able to get KO'd. And Giratina is our last attacker with the ability Distortion Door. If it's in your discard pile, you can put it onto your bench and put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you will never run out of attackers because Giratina just always comes back. And the attack does 130 damage and you put four damage counters on one of your Pokemon. Pretty simple, pretty good. Yeah, that's Giratina. And the last Pokemon is one Tapulele, just for consistency, just to be able to <coughs> Ultra Ball into it, Mysterious Treasure into it, just having more outs for a good uh, yeah, turn one. Yeah, talking about supporters, we have four Lily, pretty simple. Just want to get uh, yeah Lily as often as possible during your first turn. You have a lot of cards that you can play down, so it's always very likely you, you, that you can use Lily for a lot of cards. Then two Erika's Hospitality, also from the new cards. Um, if you have four or fewer ca other cards in your hand, so five including this one, um, you can draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon, which is very good, especially in the mid game when your opponent has a set up field. Then we have one Cynthia, yeah, just shuffle draw, and three Guzma. Uh, don't really need more than three because yeah, Necrozma can just always one shot everything, so most of the time it's just useful or just used when you want to target something on the bench or if something on your field is stuck in the active spot. Um, yeah, for items we have 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Treasure and 3 Nest Ball. These are basically our balls, or yeah, I mean Treasure is not really ball but considered one because it's just item card that searches Pokemon. And they all just help to set up your in case Malamas and Ultra Necrozma. For example, Ultra Ball of course searches everything. Then Nest Ball gets you Ditto, Ultra Necrozma, Jirachi, uh, Inkei and um, Dawnwings Necrozma because Lele you most of the time want to play from your bench of course to use the ability. And Giratina is of, uh, of course best used if it's in your discard pile and then you can use it uh, like that. Then Treasure gets you Ultra Necrozma, uh, Dawnwings Necrozma, Giratina, Inkei, Malama, Tapu, Lele. So basically everything except Jirachi and Ditto. And yeah, that's big, uh, why you play 11 search cards because you just have so many um, options to search each of those cards and it just becomes very consistent. Um, yeah, next up we have two Acrobike, just an item card to increase your speed a little bit, just two and not four something because we don't want to 
go full ham, but it's always nice to have it, especially with a lot of Psychic Energies or Giratina in deck that you can just discard for free and basically just get the other card without any downside. Then we have two switch, it's just a very good card with Jirachi to be able to switch around if you want to use multiple or if you don't have an escape or the Jirachi just to be able to switch back and yeah, also Necro uh, Donwick's Necro uh, Ultra Necrozma has a lot of retreat and Giratina as well so it's always nice to have, an, have a way to switch them out uh, aside from Guzma. And we also have four forest because the card is just super good in this deck. I mean, in some decks it's already very good because you want um, yeah, your basic energies and just helps you to find them. But in this deck, it's just the card is just so incredibly good. You can discard cards that you don't want anymore, so you have um, yeah, uh, you're less likely to draw bad cards after a judge for example you can of course its main purpose you get your metal energy when you need it which is like one of the main reasons why the deck all of a sudden becomes so good because you can actually find your metal energy then you can in addition to finding your metal energy you can discard your psychic energies and the card is just so good and there's like I don't see any reason to play less than the maximum amount and for tools, of course, we have three escape art. It's just incredibly good with Jirachi, and it's also sometimes nice with the Dawnwing Necrozma. And we have only one choice band because most of the time Necrozma's damage is enough because you deal 180, uh, 260, for example, pretty easily. But sometimes you're missing like one energy, or sometimes you need to hit even higher numbers. Sometimes you want to hit high numbers with Giratina. Sometimes you want to hit 210 with Dawn Wings Necrozma's Jax attack, so yeah, that's just one choice band uh, because it's very situational, but sometimes can be uh, very good. But since you're burning through your deck super quickly in the late game, hitting it with Jirachi or one of your draw supports is also not that, not that unlikely, so yeah, just makes sense to have it in the deck. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the list, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Okay, looks like we're actually playing a mirror match. That's interesting. I lost the coin flip. Yippee. <laughs> um, yeah, losing coin flips in mirror matches is never good, but our hand, on the other hand, is pretty good. I mean, I, I guess it's... Uh, it really depends on what we both do really because there's actually a lot that you can do wrong by and play into your opponent's hand so okay that's very bad for him because that actually means i will be the person to take the first gx ko because the turn i will bench a gx i will actually also take a ko on a gx because i don't have to bench anything especially not if i Lucky enough to hit a supporter with Jirachi, so I don't have to use Leila. So my my plan for next one is actually going to be, I mean, as it stays, uh, if it stays as it's right now, I will put on Viridian Forest, use Viridian Forest to, uh, I will just show you. So I will use Forest now, discard the energy, grab another energy. So I find out my deck. Now I want to use. Stellar Wish. I should have checked if Layla's in the deck, but I have to use Ultra anyways. And perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly 100% what I wanted. Now I can do... Actually, I'm not in any real danger of him KOing my... Okay, we surely grab the Ditto here because... Um, treasure always gets us in case, so... Yeah. But Ultra was the only card that gets us Ditto. Okay, so we just bench the Ultra Necrozma here and then Lily for it. Okay, it becomes even better. Okay, Nest Boar. For Jirachi. Lily would have been in deck anyways. Um, okay, we grab the Jirachi. Then we treasure again. Grab another Inke. Then we acrobike, discard the Giratina. 
no edition escape out here. Use Jirachi again. Yeah, we grip treasure 100%. So we can get Malama next turn. And. Yeah, that's a very nice looking field. I mean, of course, he could, in theory, still get the KO, but he needs a lot. Like, he needs to be able to get Ultra Necrozma to the bench. Attach Metal, attach to Psychic, then get it back to the active again. So, and he would also need a Guzma as well. So, he played Lily already, so he can't Guzma. And him KOing Jirachi is perfectly fine, like 100%. Because that means my Necrozma just chaos his Necrozma next turn, and yeah, I mean I still need something. It's not guaranteed uh, right now, but it's not that unlikely, especially because I can attach one Psychic thanks to Forest. So yeah, I only need one Malama because I already have one basically in hand. At worst case, I just chaos Malama. I mean, it's also not the worst. Promote Jirachi as always. And that's a Guzma, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah, we, we don't need to use Nest Ball, so we just ditch the Nest Ball. Grab a Malama. So we have three Ultra Ball and two Treasure that we can hit with Jirachi. So as I said, since I want to attach the Psychic anyways, time to fin the deck again. And now we Stellar Wish. Normally, like if, if you want to be greedy, you go for the Lily here, but I mean... Uh, uh, I mean it's fine to, to uh, discard the escape board. It's actually super fine. So we evolve this one already. Then we can already use this once. Then we treasure. Discard escape pod. Get Malama. I mean, normally, if he would have benched Ultra Necrozma first, two energies would have been enough because we have Giratina, but since he opened with it, we have to attach three, but that's fine. So we just take the KO here. So let's see, maybe some draw supporter. Oh no, but. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, we actually. That's everything we could have wished for a draw supporter. I mean, right now we're just in the spot. If he chaos my Ultra Necrozma with his Ultra Necrozma again, I will just use my Ultra Necrozma again, so and it will just continue. So since I'm, since I didn't have to take a non GX KO, I'm I will always be um, ahead in this trade. And see here, this is also the reason why I didn't bench Necrozma. First of all, I still have a Giratina bench spot in case he doesn't KO. And I also prevent him from using his Giratina to damage my Ultra Necrozma. Because there's always also the, um, the potential that I just KO his Malamas and that he doesn't get enough Malamas in play to actually be able to KO my Ultra Necrozma. It's very unlikely that he has the KO now. Because he actually needs so much. He needs two more Malamas. Or choice uh, or one Malama and Choice Band, and then he needs to retreat and I mean, I I guess it's not too unlikely, depending on if he plays Choice Band or maybe he even plays Beast Energy. But I don't think I'm gonna get KO this turn. Yeah, okay, that basically tells me I'm not gonna get KO'd. But what does he actually, what's actually the plan behind this? Oh, he doesn't have enough psychics in this card. <laughs> That's his problem. I mean, he can, he can still use uh, Switch. 
Hey, he, he can still use switch, yeah. So he can attach choice band, energy, energy, switch, choice band. But it, first of all, that's a lot, and second of all, it's just gonna get KO anyways, and then he needs even more next turn. But I think he has it, otherwise he wouldn't have played it this way. But it at least makes the game more interesting. Choice band switch. Treasure. Okay, now... Okay, he wants to retreat to, uh, so he can use his Malama first. But he has, he has the switch for sure, 100% now. But as I said, that's actually he actually needed a lot to be able to do it. Because he had like one Malama at the beginning of the turn. Yeah, there's the switch. But he forgot to use Psychic Research. Uh, recharge. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't. He actually wasn't able to... One dam uh, yeah, no, not one damage, but ten damage of. Okay, um. So, let's just fin. We don't grab anything because we just want to have, um, yeah, more options to get into Malama. Then we switch into Jirachi. Yeah, we don't want to bench Inke. We just use Lily. And we have the Malama. We haven't even used Jirachi yet. Yeah, one, once this deck gets rolling, it's just so insanely strong. Stella Wish. Uh, 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 uh. I would like to. F wait, can I. I guess I can. F no. Uh, let's just take the forest so we don't draw into it. Could have also taken the choice band, I guess. I don't really want to bench the Ultronic Chrisma because there's still a chance that he has like Giratina and Chaos the other one as well. So we just retreat. And take the KO. Just playing it safe. And it's very unlikely that he actually marshals us again. So now he needs Ultra Necrozma, this needs to discard an energy, he needs a escape watch. And a Marshadow, because if he doesn't Marshadow me, then he just loses automatically. And if he wants to use something else to attack, then a Necrozma, then I will just use my Giratina and not allow him to take two prizes the turn after. Ball. Yeah, okay, he goes for Giratina now. But I will just use my Giratina to re return KO. Maybe not even return KO, maybe I will just go off the Malama, but I don't think so. Because it's really unnecessary. On the other hand, if I go off the Malama, he has all energies stuck to his Giratina. Okay, he goes for Malama now. Oh, that's actually interesting because now he can actually use his Giratina and KO this one. So he doesn't really... Um, it doesn't hurt him that he lost the tempo last turn. But this is exactly the reason why I didn't bench another GX because now he takes one prize. Yeah, but how does he take two prizes next turn if I don't bench a GX? And I will also bench another Inkay, so still have plenty of Malamas. I'll promote Jirachi. And then we use our Giratina's ability. 
how we damage this one and I guess he will use this to attack next turn so make it more likely to actually be able to KO it. If something weird happens then we fin our forest, get a psychic energy. Then we can also Jirachi for Ultra Ball. And then attack the KO and we damage. Doesn't really matter too much, so let's just take the Grutina. You know? So we even have the Malama already in hand, so there's absolutely no way he wins this turn. I mean, I, oh, he can use... He actually can use Necrozo's GX attack. That's actually interesting. Is it likely? I mean, I guess he has two Necrozma in this card. Yeah, but uh, no, actually he can't, because... His GX attack right now would only KO one of my Pokemon, and he would also need uh, to use Giratina as well. Yeah, okay, he can't win. It's you know, it's like, okay, if he had uh, the Ultra Necrozma, he could just KO these two, but there's no empty bench space. So we'll just attack with Giratina again. Which also, I mean, the fact that he hasn't conceded yet means that he will yeah, most likely KO Malama again because otherwise um, if he KOs Giratina I mean, actually how does he win? if he KOs Malama I have win on board if he doesn't KO Malama I only need an energy so yeah I I guess he just doesn't realize he has lost yet I mean, at the point where when I put on the Malama, he will just probably concede. Ah, there's the well played. And there we go. Now you've seen the deck actually in action twice. Because both sides had the deck. And as you could see, the setup is very consistent. And once you set up, it's very strong. Hope you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.